Okay, so typical problem here for finding rate tells us we got this hydroiodic acid, uh, 100 millimoles after 500 seconds, it's 17. What's the rate? And so to do this problem, you'd have to write the reaction. So we'll go, well, HI uh, goes to, it says hydrogen and iodine gas. So we'll write that out. Uh, then I want to balance it, two. So now it's all balanced. We're ready to go with our calculation. Uh, rate equals, it's going to be the change in concentration of what we're interested in divided by the change in time. So I'm going to leave a little space here. First I'll write the change in concentration of the HI over the change in time. What we also have to do to get the really, what you'll find is called the average rate, uh, is to uh, put a minus sign because we're losing it. So we're losing reactants, so that minus represents loss, and then we're going to have to do 1 over the coefficient, or 1 over 2, because there's a 2 right there. If we're finding the rate of the production of H2 or I2, it would just be 1 over 1. Alright, so now let's plug in, minus 1 over 2. Uh, and it really is not going to matter what order you do this in. Um, so we'll say, let's do the time first. It might be uh, easier uh, to note. This goes, uh, if you want to go from the end to the beginning, and it doesn't matter which way you go here, uh, it ends at 500 seconds and it starts at 0 seconds. So the difference between 0 and 500. I could have put 0 minus 500, that doesn't matter. And then at 500 seconds, it's 17 millimoles per liter. And at 0 seconds, the starting point, uh, it's 100 millimoles per liter. Again, it the order doesn't matter, but the numbers have to match. So the 500 must go with the 17. The 0 must go with the 100, because that's the starting point. 17 is the ending point after 500 seconds. I could have flipped the bottom, and if I did, I would have to flip the top. So those things go together. Uh, let's see what I got. Uh, this turns out to be 0.083. And then uh, check your units. Be careful. At the bottom here, it was seconds. So you literally put whatever you get here. So it's millimoles per liter times seconds. And so the units might look a little funky sometimes. So that's OK. Uh, but again, it's really going to be a molarity or a concentration unit per time. Uh, and so that's the rate, that's a way that you can calculate the rate of reaction. We're going to find more ways as we go through the chapter.